Hello, everybody. My name is Jay Clark. <laughs> I'm a senior iOS engineer here at RightPoint. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about augmenting ARKit with Core ML. And really quickly, um, ARKit and Core ML are uh, Apple's augmented reality and machine learning frameworks. And uh, really quickly, augmented reality is putting fake stuff in the real world. And machine learning, it, it means a lot of things, but it usually means teaching a computer to solve uh, a, a problem without giving it all of the cases it's going to experience. So again, I'm going to be talking about how to improve putting fake stuff in the real world uh, by teaching a computer how to help you. Um, the way I'd like to tell this story is by demonstrating how we created the AR experience for the Cider and Food app we just shipped for Angry Orchard. Um, the app is sweet. Go download it. It's free. Uh, the way it works is a, a user scans a bottle of Angry Orchard, then Ryan, their cider master, takes over the label uh, of the real world bottle. He tells you about the flavor of cider you're holding. He also offers different food pairings and recipes that go well with that flavor. Um, and finally, when you pull the phone away from the bottle, you find that you're transported to their actual orchard in upstate New York. So, how does it work? Um, so one of the fundamental capabilities of ARKit is 2D image tracking, uh, and it's quite simple. You tell Apple what image you're looking for, um, and Apple tells you when it finds it and where it is in 3D space 60 times a second. So in the context of our app, this allows us to anchor our augmented reality content to the bottle. But in order for ARKit to be robust, it will need to locate the label um, and follow the tracking image through different angles, lighting conditions, and occlusions. Um, so it needs to identify that all of these real wor world images map to the same tracking image. So as a result, ARKit is fairly lenient by design um, when considering whether or not these images represent the same tracking image. So let's actually look at the lineup of uh, Angry Orchard's variety pack that we had to support for this app. And specifically, let's look at the bottles. Um, if you'll notice, the label designs for all these flavors are remarkably similar. Um, they differ mainly just in color. Um, and color, as you saw previously in that slide, is not a good feature for tracking because real-world lighting um, can be so variable. So this feature is now a problem for us because ARKit thinks all these labels are the same flavor. So... <clears throat> So what do we do? The whole experience is based on Ryan, the cider master, giving us contextual information uh, on the different flavors. So enter Coramel. Um, a very simple application of machine learning is an image classifier. This is when you supply a bunch of photos of something and give it a label. It's not so different from teaching a toddler about zoo animals. This is a giraffe, and this is a giraffe, and that's an elephant, and that's an elephant. And then you flip the script, um, and you show your toddler a new image, and you ask the toddler, what animal is this? Um, so now we're all machine learning experts. That's good. Um, so back to the app. Uh, what, what's the best way to tell all these labels apart? Well, if we concentrate specifically on the part of the label that differs the most, uh, the name of the flavor, and we take a lot of photos of this. Um, in this case, for our application, it was um, over 1,200 photos for all the different flavors. And train a model, um, then we should be able to tell them apart. So, so this is how the scanning works in the app today. Um, the user is prompted to scan a bottle. They go and find a bottle um, and scan one of the flavors. And we actually only look for one tracking image, which is the same across all the different flavors. Um, and now we know we found an Angry Orchard bottle, but
but we don't know what flavor, but we do know where to look. So we can grab from the camera feed 10 frames of this uh, flavor label area, um, and we can feed all 10 of those frames into our machine learning model. And if the machine learning model comes up with some consensus, uh, then we are confident in uh, displaying the experience for that specific flavor. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. So uh, AirKit can help you uh, keep your experience reliably anchored to your product, and, and Coromel can help you contextualize that experience. And, and that's it. Thank you.